Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to day 10 of 13 days of liquid lipstick and today we have is the Milani Amore Satin Matte Lip Creams. Now just a few days back I had reviewed the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams, however this is the Satin Matte Formula. Now I did not even know that they had launched these and I accidentally stumbled across these on Nykaa and I picked up two shades. The first one is 08 Indulge and the next shade is 10 Satin. Now my foundation shade reference is NC40 in MAC and if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video. First, let's go over with the features of these lip creams. Now, it says that it is a long lasting lip cream that is high on pigment and dries matte. It is enriched with shea butter and soya bean oil for long lasting hydration. The lightweight and creamy formula ensures a comfortable wear. It features a doe foot applicator that offers precise application and this product is cruelty free as well. So this is how the packaging looks like which is identical to the Amore matte lip creams which comes in a transparent plastic tube with a gold cap and gold writing. You have the shade name mentioned right at the bottom and on top you have is a sticker which says satin matte or matte satin. Yeah, it says matte satin. Now the wand is exactly the same as the Amore Matte Lip Creams where it is a flat doe foot applicator. These are priced at 1250 rupees for 6.5 ml of product which is 0.5 ml more than the Amore Matte Lip Creams and they offer 8 shades on Nykaa. And now let's move on to the lip swatches. And now let's talk about the formula of these lip creams. Now like every other video that I have mentioned, these are very pigmented as well and they glide on very smoothly and evenly on the lips. There's no patchiness, there's no streakiness or anything and these are very comfortable on the lips. Like I had mentioned for the Milani Amore Matte that they are super, super matte but these when they dry down, they are like a comfortable matte finish. It feels like second skin. You don't feel like there is something on your lips. So once you apply these on your lips, they are pretty quick drying, but then it does dry down like 95%. The remaining 5%, it takes a little bit of time for it to dry down. And in that time, it does transfer. But once it does settle, it is almost transfer proof. Not exactly 100%, but like 97 to 98%, it is transfer proof, like for example. There is a bit of transfer, but at the same time, it is still there on my lips. It's still pigmented. There's no patchy or cracky or anything as such. Now, these do last quite long and they stay put for a minimum of seven to eight hours, provided you do not have any heavy meal. It does not have that harsh line like how the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams does. Now, this one, it just fades in a very gradual manner, which I personally like, where you can just press your lips together and you are good to go. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that for removing this lip cream, you can just use a plain old wet wipe or a micellar water. You do not have to use like an oil based cleanser or remover. Now the next one is not a pro or a con, it is to do with the shades that's available in India. Now they do have only 8 shades, wherein in US they have a total of 12 shades. And uh, yeah, so I just wish that brands come out with full collection. Why? Why the kanjusi? And lastly, coming to the cons, there is just one point and that is to do with the smell of these lip creams. Now, the Milani Amor Matte Lip Creams, I love the smell. It smells delicious. However, this one, on the other hand, it has a very strong 
chemically kind of a smell and it is so strong that it kind of lingers even after application not for a long time but you know you can smell it so just one other new con that i just realized is that shade 08 indulge that i have it looks a little different in person than compared to what it shows online so if you are planning to buy any of the shades make sure that you watch a lot of other youtubers and do your research properly and then buy accordingly because these are pricey and you do not want to buy a shade that does not suit you so this is how the shade indulge looks like in person compared to how it looks online so yeah these were my opinion about the milani amor satin matte lip creams and guys this wraps up today's video i hope you all enjoyed it and if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to for you as well as follow me on my social which is Ishanayar on Instagram and it's Ishanayar on Twitter as well so until the next time take care bye